it's got to be said, if you're going to go to a wrestling event, whether it be in real life, whether it be in Second Life, whether it be in Roblox, or wherever you go, if you're going to go to a wrestling show of any kind, you are not there to sexually demoralize, demeanor, or catcall any of the talent that are there to perform, especially during a fucking match. So to provide a little bit of context, something happened over at a group over on Second Life called Fusion Pro Wrestling. Now I know the guys over at Fusion Pro Wrestling, and a lot of people there are my friends. One in particular, her name is Brooke Owens. She's a very close friend of mine. And the sole fact that I was told that Brooke was deeply disrespected by some comments that were made by a fan. I don't know what was said. I don't want to know what was said. Because if I ever find out, well, let's just say that you don't want to know. And let's just say that I know people. And we'll just keep it at that. But to just go to a wrestling show for the sole purpose to de- to just catcall someone and sexually demeanor them. During, while they're trying to perform, while they're trying to wrestle a match, you need to find something else to do. You need to find a hobby. You need to go fucking masturbate to whatever who whatever you masturbate to. Because fucking trolling of any sort is not okay. It's never been okay. We are real people. And I'm at least two. I'm at least two of those people. I am Stephen Calloway, the um, energetic commentator, commentates over at WPWF and OEW. I'm also Gunter Hyde, the ruthless bad guy, who beats people up simply because he wants a fight. Those are my two personas so far on Second Life. And hell, I'm even about to add a third persona that is is very special to me, something I've never done before. And I won't I won't say anything more about it because it's kind of a surprise, but Let's just say that I've always been interested in doing a comedy character. So, again, going back to the uh, catcalls, it's not okay. It's never okay to catcall anybody, especially if they're a performer. It doesn't matter what it is, catcalling anybody. And in some cases, you can go to jail. You, you, you can, um, or yeah, they, people can press charges on that. If you fucking do that shit in public, you can definitely get charged for that. So, you should really watch what you say, especially when you're around people who are simply doing doing this just to have fun. We literally do this. We take time out of our day to write a match with our opponent, to go over how the match is going to go, to make sure that, you know, commentary does their best to sell whatever's going on. And hell, to make sure all the referee knows what the hell they're doing as well. 
all that goes into a wrestling show. And to have somebody fucking yell or sexually demeanor or catcall something ridiculous, it's not okay. It's never okay. It's it's stupid. And if you're doing it be- for the fucks, because you fucking felt like it, then I'm sorry, but you, you need your face beaten in. Just this is how it is. And I usually don't say things like that, at least anymore, or not much. And I'm I'm generally a nice guy. You guys ought to know this by now. But you disrespected my friend. In turn, you disrespected me. You disrespected my friends. You disrespected a community. You pissed off a lot of people, including me. And that's not a good thing to do. That makes you a target. Because now groups are going to watch out for that. Groups are going to watch out for people that are sexually demoralizing people during a fucking match. In a fucking virtual world. There's nothing good out of that. Nothing good. It's not okay. And I hope I hope Second Life or Linden or whoever finds these guys and, and bans them from Second Life. I don't know if that's even possible. I hope it is. But I guess it's a little much to ask, right? For for um a company like Linden to do something like that. A little too much, maybe. Sure, we could ban people from the sim, but that's not going to stop them from going to other places. From what I hear, this um, attack at Fusion Pro Wrestling was not the only target. And this needs to be made aware. And that's the reason why I'm making this video. It's mostly to make this more aware. So, I hope, in turn, that people will learn to either shut their fucking mouths, because really, all you're ever there to do at a wrestling event, at any wrestling event, whether it be real or virtual, or, well, when I say real, I mean real life, real life like WWE or AEW, virtual, I mean Fusion Pro Wrestling, OEW, WPWF, hell even VWE, and I'm not the biggest fan of VWE, but I'm not going to fucking go over there and sexually demoralize their fucking talent, that's fucking retarded, it's stupid, that puts, that would, it would put the community in a bad light, and that's not what we want. No, oh, just the other day we were congratulating Premier Wrestling for um, for getting recognized by Second Life, for being featured by Second Life. It was such a great accomplishment that hell people from all over the Second Life wrestling community, myself included, congratulated them. I'm not even in Premier. I'm in their Discord, of course. Mostly because they recently invited me to it. But I've never been to one of their shows. And I understand that, you know, being featured like that from Second Life or by Second Life on Twitter. That's an accomplishment. So I'll give them props to that. That we were celebrating something as a community. Because it put Second Life Wrestling in a really good way. And I wish them 
all the success that they will ever get. And that's the kind of stuff that we want to see. We don't want to see, you know, people not wrestle because they were sexually demoralized or, you know, they were harassed. Harassment's never okay. Bullying is not okay. It's never okay. And it never will be okay. And sexual harassment, of course, is a big one. It's not okay. It never will be okay. And it should stop immediately. And I implore anybody, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter if you're a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, a Second Life wrestler, a real wrestler, a singer, an artist, or doesn't matter who you are. Because this can happen to anybody. It really can. I'm, sh I'm sure it can happen to anybody. I implore you to report these people. Whether it happens on Second Life, whether it happens on Twitter, whether it happens right here on YouTube, or whatever website it happens on. Hell, even if it happens in real life, report them to the, to the venue, report them to security, report them to the website admins, to whoever you need to report them to. Report these people. Screenshot what they say. Because, because in, in, the, in some cases, it's illegal. And mentally, it could be harmful. And it could lead to, it could lead down a road that nobody should ever, ever have to travel down. So, Respect one another. Respect the talent. Respect the performers. Don't be a fucking dumbass. And treat it as like you just paid a hundred fucking dollars to go to go watch wrestling or to go watch your sports team or whatever. Treat it like that. Try to have fun. Okay? Cheer for the for the for the good guys, boo for the bad guys, or hell, do the complete fucking opposite for all I care. Cheer for the bad guys, boo for the good guys. It's happened before. Have you ever heard of Chicago, Illinois? They fucking do that shit all the time. Or Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, or a couple other cities like that. I'm sure they've you know there's there's a lot more cities like that. But, you know, fucking cheer for your favorite person or wrestler that's all you're ever required to do at a wrestling event that's all I have to say and for those that are at Fusion Pro Wrestling I know I've already said this on my Twitter as Stephen Calloway and I'll say it again as Mr. Uno Death Eater that I love you guys you guys are my friends and I fully support you guys you guys should never had to apologize for anything. If anybody needs to apologize, it's those fucking assholes who decided to do what they did. And again, like I said on my Twitter, I don't know what, what happened. don't really want to know what happened because I'm afraid I'll probably go down a road that will lead to finding out who these people are. And you guys know how how I get when I'm mad. So. I'll leave it to that. So thank you for watching. Hopefully. This makes it more. Aware. Because it needs to be talked about. It's 2 in the morning. I'm going to bed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.